Greetings, my name is Ryan Nix. I'm the Principal Solutions Architect with Amazon Web Services. I want to take a moment to talk to you about how we can monitor AWS relational databases like RDS and Aurora using IBM's security platform called IBM Guardian. Now, IBM Guardian is a software solution that connects to a variety of different data sources. It collects information around the underlying operating system, the database engine, the data in itself, and provides security teams insight into the security risks that could be coming from those data sources. Now, typically what we would have is we would have a, a security individual or an application owner interacting with an IBM Guardian console. This is a web interface where I can visualize all of the telemetry that's coming from my data sources or the, the items that I'm uh, monitoring from a security perspective. Uh, the Guardian console will typically have a, uh, a set of EC2 instances that are functioning as a collector that's feeding telemetry in there. Before we get to that, let's have a look at our data sources. Let's go and have a RDS implementation and let's go and deploy Aurora as well. Uh, most customers I work with will have RDS and Aurora deployed into a multi-AZ implementation. So I will have availability zone one and availability zone two. And what we will have inside both AZs is typically a collection of EC2 instances. And we will have running on those EC2 instances the Guardian Collector. These collectors pass information back to the Guardian console so that I have visibility and I can visualize and I can have uh, alerting and metrics based on whatever I've collected from these data sources. Now, the collectors don't only collect things from uh, databases. They could be monitoring other uh, EC2 instances, other workloads within the environment. However, from a RDS and Aurora perspective, we can't deploy the agents required for Guardian directly onto the database level. So what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of an external STAP connector. So what we're going to do is run the, the agent process externally to the database on another compute layer and then have it connect back to the database. In order to do this, what we're going to do is take advantage of a very lightweight containerized version of the STAP agent. So we will deploy that onto EKS. And on my EKS environment, I'm going to run a external STAP agent. And this agent will have permissions to interact with my databases and basically pull the telemetry and information from the database engine as well as from the database, the interactions. Um, so any interaction with the database, uh, whether that is a, a DML statement or a DBL statement, if it is a administrative function or that, all of that information gets collected and uh, passed through the collector, run to Guardian, and then is flagged against the rules in Guardian to highlight any sort of security risks over here. So essentially what we're doing is instead of deploying the agent directly onto the database, we're running it externally as a relatively small containerized workload, and you're still able to take advantage of IBM's Guardian security solution, uh, but with your investments with AWS, where you're getting the benefit of a relational database that is managed for you, where AWS is doing the undifferentiated heavy lifting, we're solving all of the resilience and scale problems, uh, but you're still able to interact with your security solutions. 
I hope that this has been interesting and thank you very much for joining me.